Cheers everyone, Womiki. First of all, Happy New Year. I hope it went fine for all of you and that you had fun despite the current circumstances. But today, for the first video of 2021, I was thinking of doing something a little bit different. As you might be able to tell from the title, this video is going to show you how to fix Spellforce Platinum on Steam, specifically how to swap from version 1.61 to 1.54, the reasons for which I'll mention in a bit. So, yeah, without further ado, I'd say, let's get into it. So, why would you actually want to swap from version 1.61 back to 1.54? Well, the main reason for that is that 1.61 is full of bugs and close to unplayable for a lot of people. We constantly get people on our Discord saying how they've encountered spawn bugs or things that uh, halt them from progressing further in the game and stuff like that. It might seem a bit counterintuitive to swap back, especially since THQ Nordic here on the Spellforce forums said that this version includes multiplayer, widescreen support and Windows compatibility, but this isn't exactly the case. From my experience, I don't think the multiplayer works, at least I haven't been able to get it to work on this version. Widescreen support is there, but it makes the game look weird and pretty much zoomed into the point where you can't play it comfortably. And Windows compatibility, I, I wasn't really able to check that, but personally I, I didn't have any issues with the old version on Windows, so I wouldn't say that this is a tipping point. So, how to bring it back? Now, first of all, you need to go to your Steam. Go to your library and find Spellforce Platinum Edition. Right-click on it, go to Properties, find the Betas tab, and here you'll see options you can select. It's gonna be none if you didn't do anything previously, but you want to click on this and select Original 1.54. What this is going to do is it's going to patch your game back to Original 1.54, but I'd suggest you do it a little bit differently. Don't just patch it back, but delete the game from your Steam and then re-download it or reinstall it, I guess. But while you're installing it, do it during the installation so it, all the files that it installs automatically are adapted to, to 1.54. There's a reason for that, which I'll mention later. But what does this actually do for your game? Well, first of all, it, it's going to remove all the bugs, which is the good thing, but there are going to be some drawbacks with this that you might experience. The first one, is going to be that you're going to require a CD key to start the game. Now, THQ Nordic has been nice enough to provide us all with a CD key for the Legacy branch, which is here, this one. You'll have to use this for the 1.54 version, and I'll link this whole Steam thread in the description below. One thing I'd suggest here is that while you do this, start the game as an administrator. Oh, people even say it here. Start the game as an administrator to prevent this from happening, that every time you open the game, you have to type in the key. If you do it as an admin, you do it once, should be fine from there on out. Another thing I have to warn you about is, if you swap the version of the game back to 1.54, the save games, or the save files that you had in 1.61 are not going to be compatible anymore. There is a way to fix this or, and to edit your save files to, to kind of make them compatible with that version again, but if you don't want to hassle with that, you can just you know start a new save game. If people are interested, I can make a video on how to change it, so if you have a save game that's already like in the middle of the game or something, it shouldn't be an issue for you to change it and for, to just continue from there. And lastly, one thing I would suggest is to, if you go into game, and the game doesn't want to launch, so say you, you open it, and you're going to get an error saying that your config file has been corrupted, or your config file doesn't work for some reason, doesn't, uh, you know, do what it's supposed to do for some reason, you need to go on our Discord and into the general support channel, and I can actually show this to you now. One second. Okay, so you go into Discord, into our general support channel here that we have, under pinned messages, scroll a bit down, and you'll find this pinned by Farlon. Use this config and change the resolution to your native one if you get desired resolution not found in Spellforce 1. All you have to do there is download the config file, save it somewhere, and I can probably just show you how this is going to work. One second. You're going to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, find Spellforce there. 
and have the config file here. Now the config file might not be, um, you might not be able to open it, which is fine. You just right click, press open with, and then select anything. You can even select notepad for this. I prefer, I prefer using wordpad because it's a bit nicer. It'll open this window. Once you have it open, you just have to find your resolution. This is my current resolution. Uh, so with the height, with the width, change it to that, save it, put it in this main uh, directory as Perforce Platinum, and it's going to work, no problems. This should hopefully fix all of the issues. Should you have any that uh, still occur, even while doing all of these things, you can also come to the Discord, just really message message me or, or any, any of the other moderators, maybe even some of the users, and we are going to help you to uh, solve the issue, hopefully the best we can, and you should be able to play it. Now, some other tips I'd like to give you is that um, like these aren't really necessary for you to do, but still I find the game runs better if you if you use them. One would be to to just play the game in a 4x3 resolution, which is the game's native resolution. I know that a lot of players nowadays aren't really accustomed to playing things on 4x3 because they are... You know, you have those black bars on like the left and right side of the of your screen and it just doesn't look that nice. However, the reason why I would suggest this is because uh, from my personal experience, it removes a lot of the visual issues and visual glitches from the game, and it tends to run a bit better overall, and just the things don't look as stretched. So if you can bring yourself to playing like that, I would definitely recommend it. If you can't, however, you can just go on Spellforce widescreen, widescreen patch. Uh, I think it's even on Nexus mods at this point. Yes, exactly. You go on, on Nexus Mods for the widescreen fix. You download this on Nexus Mods. However, you will have to make a uh, make an account for this. Uh, shouldn't be an issue though. You download it. Um, you'll see a lot of files in there, which are going to be these different resolutions. It's basically the EXE files. You'll find your desired resolution. So let's say for most people it's 1920 by 1080. You'll copy it and paste it in the same um, in the same uh, directory where you pasted your config file. It's going to replace spellforce.exe, and you should be able to run. Uh, run the game in in 16 by 9. However, like I said, this might cause some some stretching issues and some things might look a bit weird. Um, but if you prefer it, it's a it's a nice way of doing it. Second thing would be if you want to play multiplayer, you are probably going to need some kind of third party program. Now, my program of choice for this is Hamachi, where you create a local network and invite all of your friends in there. But there's, there's multiple ones, I just can't think of any of the top of my head, but any program that allows you to create a local network where you can invite other people in is going to work just fine. You will be able to see your friends in multiplayer, but just make sure you all have the same version, 1.54, otherwise you won't be able to play with each other. And the last tip I'd have for you, which is not really a tip, but more of just a suggestion, is that if you can, get the game on GOG. Um, the reason for that, it's currently on sale as well. The reason for that is the game on GOG just seems to work a bit better. Um, it doesn't have the 1.61 issue, uh, it's DIM free, and GOG just seems to just seems to do the trick uh, for a lot of people. Besides, you get some neat making of videos, the game's editor, HD wallpapers, avatars, and artworks, and things like that. So, if it's so, if you aren't someone who needs to have the game on Steam, it would be something that's worth considering. But with that, it would be pretty much everything. Again, if you still have any issues that weren't resolved with what I showed you earlier, please join the Discord. It's also linked in the description below, and we'll do the best we can to help you with them. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. I hope you um, found it helpful and you didn't mind this more free way of speaking while explaining things to you. Um, since my videos are usually scripted, this is a bit weird and uh, I can make some mistakes on talk and stuff like that but yeah hope it was helpful uh, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll hope to see you in the next one bye